Hi guys, Mr. Offwaffles here. This is going to be a guide for you to build the bows and upgrade the bows to any of the possible varieties of them in Rave in the Redwoods. So first things first, turn on the power, come upstairs and grab this propeller for the boat. Then we're going to need another boat part, which is going to be in this case in the rave recreation area. So come down the slope here and against this kiosk, you'll see a paddle for the boat. And then the final part for the boat is in the mess hall and it's going to be resting against this pillar here. Now that you have all the boat parts, go to the boat, ride it, go to the island and inside the island in a bucket, you will find a sausage. Grab the sausage. Yep, that's actually what you've got to do. Grab the sausage and zipline back to the main island. Then go to the spawn and essentially do as I do. Enter rave mode, so you'll need a pouch in order to do this. And if you don't have a pouch, kill zombies until you get one. But enter rave mode and throw your sausage at this particular deer head on the wall. It should fly off the wall, you'll be able to shoot the deer head with your gun, and then a symbol will drop down. And if you run through the symbol and hold square, you'll pick it up. You're going to repeat this process for three different deer heads. So as soon as you've done the first one, remember your rave mode timer is going to be running out unless you find some fairies to extend your timer. So keep an eye out for them, but you're going to want to run to the mess hall. The process is the exact same once you get there. Just throw your sausage at the deer. It should fly off the wall, shoot the deer, symbol will drop down, go over to it, hold square. You'll get the second symbol. And then the third is going to be in the sort of camp wolf slash camp owl area. It's in one of the cabins and it's actually kind of outside the map a little bit. So it's a little harder to see, but it's still very straightforward. Throw your sausage, get the symbol, and at this point, it might seem like it's not really very much work, but you've actually already unlocked the Vlad. So you've already got the crossbow. Good stuff, but we want to upgrade it because if we upgrade it, it obviously looks cooler, it has a crazy damage increase, and it no longer splash damages you, which is an added bonus. To start the upgrade process, we're going to be looking for animal statues. Now, I know about nine or ten different spawns for these, but I'll have a complete list in the description down below. Uh, that's one of the spawns, by the way, in the adventure course. Then, if you cross the bridge here and you look down, there's another spawn, and that's what they look like as well. They're sort of little wooden carvings of animals that are lit up white. There's Noah failing the jump to get back up here, so you can blame him for stalling. We're going to go through to the wreck area and in this little trailer. Right in the back, there'll be another possible spawn. And by the way, the particular animal that you get in a particular location will change. So you won't always have the same location with the same animal. Here I happen to get the owl in that area just by bang bangs. Then I'm going to come through to the camp wolf slash owl area and there's one spawn on that balcony. There's another spawn on the picnic table just here by the fire pit. You can see that that's where I got my third part in this game. And then the final couple are going to be through here. So there's a bench there that has one next to it sometimes. You've also got some possible spawns on the left of this bridge here. So go down the slope and next to this upturned table you'll have another possible spawn and the final one which is the cheekiest by far is behind this damn canoe easily the hardest to see but if you know where it is it's not that hard to find grab all of those and if you still can't find one in your game like i said check the description down below there's a complete list and then go to the wreck area and place those statues on the speakers once you've placed all four of them down, you're going to want to stay as close to them as you can, really, and start killing zombies in that area. Now, there are various different ways you can do this. You can use regular guns, you can use explosives. Some things work sometimes and other things work other times. It's a little bit fiddly, but I have heard that the sausage is kind of effective here. Whatever happens, you're essentially looking to see little red flashes each time you kill a zombie. So I have some examples on screen here just so you know what I'm talking about. They indicate that you are collecting souls correctly or something along those lines. Try the sausage out, try some other guns out, try headshots, try jibbing them, things like that. And if you do it right and you try out various things and get enough souls, you'll be able to pick your statues back up off the speakers and you can then run around the map and place those four statues down in front of their corresponding larger statues. So I'll show you some potential locations that you can put them down in just a second, but I want to make clear that a particular animal will give you a particular bow upgrade. In fact, I've got those on the screen now so you know exactly which is which. 
you don't have to do all of them to get the upgraded bows. You don't have to uh, do them in a certain order or anything like that. It's just whichever bow you want to get the upgrade for, you do that corresponding animal. So I'm going to show you the locations of all of the animals now. Uh, the first animal is going to be the eagle that I show you at least, and that can be placed down very easily outside the big fire pit. The owl and the wolf can very easily be placed in the owl and wolf camps, so there are big statues there that you can just plop them down in front of. And finally, the deer can be placed once again super easily just outside the boathouse area of the map. Now then, let's say, for example, you're doing the owl upgrade. You're going to want to get your Vlad, so your crossbow, and use it to kill zombies that are right in front of of that small statue that you have placed down in front of the big statue. So I recommend you hoard zombies up elsewhere, but then you walk them past that statue that you're trying to do the upgrade for and kill them all or kill as many as you can with the Vlad and after maybe 10, 15 zombies or so, maybe a little bit more than that, it depends on your game really, you'll end up being able to pick up that statue once more. But when you pick it up, it will automatically give you the upgraded crossbow corresponding to the animal that you have just used. So if you want to then upgrade another crossbow, you need to go back to the cabinet, grab a Vlad again, and then go through that same process of placing a statue down outside a bigger statue and getting kills with the Vlad and then picking the item up and it will be the next upgraded bow that you have just done. So you've just upgraded any of the bows that you want to upgrade on Raven the Redwoods. Hopefully this has been a useful guide for you guys. I'm gonna quickly show you all of the four possible upgraded bows now so you can decide which one you might or might not want to use. I'll start off with the Trappomatic, and this thing's a Kimbo. So the way it's supposed to work and the way that it's not used in this gameplay here, but don't worry about it, you'll get the idea, is that you fire up to, I think, four or five bolts onto the floor and then if they're close enough together, they'll chain electricity between them and basically kill any zombies that run through. It's pretty damn awesome. Another option is the Whirlwind EF5, which is being used here. And as you can see, it's sort of like a mini thunder gun of sorts. You fire it and it just kind of blasts the zombies away, which is pretty cool, I suppose. But there are other options as well. So another one of my favorites is the Acid Rain because it just looks funky. And this thing, I suppose, unsurprisingly, creates some acid rain, which is going to kill any zombies in that particular area. And finally, we've got the Ben Franklin, and this bad boy creates a lightning strike at the location where you're aiming when you fire it, and pretty much takes out any zombies that are standing there. So, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully this has been a good look at all of the bows and how you get the Vlad itself and then upgrade it into any of those bows. If it's been useful, please like the video. It would be much appreciated. And I'll hopefully see you, if you subscribe, in some of my other Zombies content. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, like I've said. Bye for now.